Hello and welcome back. My name is Melissa and today I am going to install the automatic chicken door that is solar, battery, and electric powered. Uh, so it's, it's got three ways to open up and I'm going to go ahead and install that today. So I've actually read the instructions and came and already put a square where I need to cut my hole. We are going to put it right here due to the fact that we're going to put a chicken ladder inside which is going to go up in there and we don't want it right over the door. So that's where we're going to put it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pre-drill a hole so that I can get the sawzall in there on each corner. And we got our holes drilled and I'm going to put the saws eye in and cut down these, cut around these lines. What I've done go. and done is I've taken a speed square, I've pre-drilled two holes, and I've leveled it, you know, leveled it out to make it easier to put in. So now I'm gonna install it. Don't lose your screws. You need those. And that's it. It was just four screws to put it in. So my next step is gonna to be to install this rain shield. Taking my speed square again, put it in the groove of the side put this flat and i've gone ahead and pre-drilled my holes so now i'm going to go ahead and install it
right, there's my rain shield. So after looking at this rain shield, it seemed a little flimsy. So I went ahead and I put another screw in, but there's still a gap here. So I'm going to come back at a later date and actually put some caulking in there to help it be more weatherproof. All right, so I've gone ahead, taken my speed square again, put it in the groove and leveled my mount for the solar panel. We actually have a backer board behind here because we're gonna use a little bit sturdier hardware than they gave us. Seems a little flimsy. We get high winds out here in Tennessee and I don't really want this thing blowing off of the chicken coop. actually have three drilled holes. I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning. Take my one that's holding it up. I only got it started. Out. All right, so there's the mount. Now we're going to put the solar panel Begin on with. it. This is a little difficult to do the way they have this set up to put this on the mount. So I've got one partially started and then I'll put the other one on, but um, not exactly um, user friendly for this part to do. Doable. But it's a bit of a challenge. And this seems a little flimsy. We'll probably replace this and put something a little sturdier. Because, I don't know, this feels a little, a little flimsy. But we'll see how it works. Next step, we're supposed to put the wires inside the coop. And since we already had a hole here for um, holding up the backer board to put this on, we're going to go ahead and just drill a hole right here and for the wires. See if that fits. Fit. Yes, that will fit. So we're going to do this. There we go. There we go. All right, so this is my battery box for the solar panel. It has to be mounted inside. It hooks up, on, we're gonna hook it up on this side. It actually has a hook on either side, but we're gonna go ahead and use this one. And so I'm gonna drill a hole right here. There's, there's a nice little pocket in there between the uh, two by four so the chickens won't be able to get to it. Okay, I'm gonna go feed this through. Well, there we have it. The ProShine automatic chicken coop door. Solar powered, battery powered, and uh, 110 powered as well. So it's got three different options. We obviously here are gonna use the solar power. There's the solar power box. We just mounted it inside between these two little boards so the chickens can't get to it. There's our internal board, backer board for the solar mount. So I know it looks weird, but I am actually blocking that off right now so the little chickens can't get under the house until they get used to just coming out and going in. But uh, I'm gonna do a little test run here and watch, let you guys watch. Ah, it's got a remote. <laughs>
there you go so all in all it wasn't too bad to set it up um, I will say that it's not the best of quality of stuff like the screws and the mount for the solar panel and things like that um, we decided to use stronger ones because they just didn't seem very secure so we used something a little more sturdy um, it is a china product so it's not the best but it seems like it's gonna work i've already set the timer i'm gonna use the timer and not the uh, sun going up and going down we're gonna use the timer we're gonna see how that works so i will let you know um, but all in all it's okay um, the remotes work from very far away it does actually have a remote control and they there's two of them and they do work from quite a distance so that's nice um and i mean the door itself seems pretty sturdy um i'm kind of curious how it's going to work with the going up and down if there's a chicken in it because it doesn't seem to just go back up if something is stuck in it um it just like stays there so i'm kind of curious to see if that's going to change i changed the settings on it so we'll see um but other than that um i guess time will tell god bless thank you for watching uh don't forget to subscribe like share comment all that good stuff and i uh, hope you all have a blessed day thanks for watching so when you're installing the rain guard be sure to have your door open all the way first time we installed it it was too low and so the door stopped it wouldn't open all the way so just be sure to make sure your doors open all the way we made that mistake <laughs> lesson learned yeah we got the first few explorers It's like there's some other ones in there thinking about it. I see the feet. This one's like really curious. <laughs> Turn her head all sideways like, what is really going on? What is this? There's one of my big Jersey Giants already honing in on the hens over here. And there's the other one. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. My name is Melissa and today I'm going to go ahead and install the chicken. Yeah, that. All right, so what I've gone and done is pre-drilled two holes, the top two holes, and I've used this to level it. <laughs> Show me how to use it. <laughs> I've used this to level it. Start over. <laughs> That's a good blooper. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Mr. Technical Director. <laughs> oh, you're still going? <laughs> 